There can be chilling effects on certain businesses during heat like we've been seeing. Child's Peach Orchard hopes the fruits of its labor can survive the toasty temps and a lack of rain. Amaya Mitchell joins us live from the newsroom to see how it's faring. Hey, Amaya. Erin, June's heat wave has not only brought harmful temps for people, but for plants too. However, Child's Peach Orchard says last night's rainfall was a big help for their fruits. So yeah, peaches like any crop need water to grow and uh, they've been suffering a little bit. Henry Childs is the farm manager at his family's peach orchard. He says Wednesday night's rain was exactly what the fruit needed. Last night we got a good rain and the trees are really perked up and are already showing the showing the results of the rain last night. With the heat wave that's turned so much brown and crunchy, the orchard has ways to get water to the trees. Uh, we've been nursing them along. We have what's called drip irrigation. Um, so it's a low water usage um, system of irrigation, which we can kind of nurse the trees through some of these dry spells. Although the heat did take a toll on the plants, it also did some good, something growers call low disease pressure. It's a really positive thing that came through uh, in this dry spell is that the peaches are very clean of disease and insect pests uh, that we can sometimes be flared up when we get more rainy weather. Now, Child says they are back caught up and this dry spell should have minimal, if any, effect on the future of the orchards. The only long lasting effect may be slightly less growth on the trees uh, as far as uh, next year goes. It might be, you know, maybe an impact, but all in all, I think it's very minimal. I think we're going to be bounced right back to right where normal should be. Child says that the peach season started the first week of June and will run until about the third week in August. And this year, things are looking like they are right on track. Live in the newsroom, Amaya Mitchell, 29 News at 5.